Hello guys, welcome. Now our assignment is to give the characteristics of the single phase induction motors. Today we will read about the single phase induction motors. So look here, that's a single phase induction motors. I already opened for you. So that's its parts. That is called the stator, and that's a called a rotor. The rotor has a bearings to move the rotor is very lively without any type of noise. That's also bearings of upper part of a rotor. That's a one type rotor. I'm sorry, that's a square cage type rotors and have a iron type slots bars. Look at this. That's called a stator because it is straight and it rotates as we know already that the stator has a two windings one for a main winding and one for auxiliary windings you can you can look this that is called the main winding and that's called the auxiliary winding three hours come around from the figures we are going to discuss first you have to know about how the flux will be produced in the two windings so look at this the two windings produce their own flux which are 19 degree displaced in time Considering that's a phi B and that's a phi A and that's a phi M, so the resultant of both. So the fluxes of both the windings are displaced 90 degree in space from each other. Now phi A is phi M sin omega t and phi B is phi m sin omega t plus 90 degree due to this both windings of fluxes a resultant flux phi m rotating in space that is called the rotating magnetic field now the rotating magnetic field rotates with the speed of synchronous speed Synchronous speed is n is barabar 120 pi f upon my p. These rotary magnetic field when we give single phase supply to the stator then a rotary magnetic field induced in these windings and due to the inductions a voltage induced in this where as we already know if we put a conductor in a in the small region field of rotary magnetic field then a uh, voltage in voltage is induced in the rotor slots as look at here and we know by the that uh, if a uh, current carry conductor is placed in a rotary magnetic field then it starts rotates but it can't get a speed of the synchronous speed now we were discussing about the constructions so that's called a uh, now we would use how we operate this motors there are two types of torque induced one for a five fluxes and one for a five fluxes once for the positive cycles and once for a negative cycles so due to positive and negative cycles the two torque will be produced tau a and tau b tau a and tau b in the negative directions in the opposite directions means in the opposite directions so they cancel each other so the net torque produced in the rotors is zero and motor starts hmm, i mean noise starts if we give some force externally means 
rotates it by the external drivers then it starts rotates that's not a mean on what directions we operate this it starts rotate suppose we operate this in a positive directions then it is clockwise directions in the anti clockwise it starts anti clockwise for this purpose we use a capacitors capacitors connections for this is uh, discussed here that's called the main winding resistance that's called the main winding reactance and that's called the auxiliary windings auxiliary windings and auxiliary winding reactance that's a capacitance which uses in this windings to start the motor okay and that's a single phase supplies so in this capacitor in the auxiliary winding circuit is used to produce a greater phase difference between the current in the main winding and the auxiliary windings in as it has a case of rotor with as a stator has two windings namely the main winding and that's a auxiliary windings the auxiliary winding also known as starting windings because in this capacitor is used for starting purpose these two windings are displaced in 90 degree in space each other and the capacitor cs is connected in series with the auxiliary winding the main winding ia and uh, the auxiliary windings are displaced 19 degree in space each other that's called the phase diagrams of the circuit by using a capacitor of the proper reading the current im in the main windings may be measured to lack the current ia in the auxiliary winding by 90 degree there is a single phase supply current is split into two phases to be applied to the stator windings thus the windings are displaced 90 degree electrical and their mmf are equal in magnitude and but 90 degree apart in time phase therefore the motor acts like a balanced two phase motor so that's the main purpose of these windings the capacitor c is permanently connected in circuit both at starting and rotating conditions a permanent split capacitor motor is also called the single value capacitor motor consequently it produces uniform torque the motor is therefore less noisy during operations so that's the full support of this i think you got a good introductions about the single phase induction motors and about its construction we are here only to operate so if you have any questions about this you can comment on my site okay goodbye